Hey guys, this is another rant about things I hate, obviously. Uh, today's topic is something really, really simple. It's so, so easy. It's called, it's about video games. Okay, first you go to the store, GameStop, Walmart, Target, wherever you want to buy your little video game or something. And then, when you get it, uh, there's something wrong with it. And you try to return it, and they're all, do you have a receipt? And you're there, you were there just like five minutes ago. And you're just staring at them. Oh, I was here five minutes ago. When what? How do you not know if I bought this game? And they're all, sir, ma'am, uh, I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do. You don't have a receipt. If you're there five freaking minutes ago, um, it's not really that much of a difference. Because uh, we know we were here. Five minutes ago, you know that too, and you're just trying to get a little money. And when you go and buy like a $69 game, and it's real popular, and then some new game comes out, and then you return it like three days later to get some, to get some money for the new game. You turn it in, and they'll, and all, that'll be $15. You pay $60 freaking dollars for the game, and you expect to get the equal amount back. Or at least like two or three dollars off because it's not in mint condition as it was when you bought it. So, ri really, um, first of all, if I'm gonna get a game and I return it, I'd expect you know to get the actual amount of money back instead of just hey, guess what? I'm good. Hey, guess what? You bought this game for a hundred dollars. I'm gonna give you fifty cents, okay? It's messed up. It's so stupid. I mean, really. Why? Why would anyone even do that? No one ever does. Ugh. There's also this thing they have, GameFly. GameFly, you get a, you get a three month free trial. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, you get your. But the problem is, uh, you get your games in the mail, so that's not good because someone could pick the lock. If you have a mailbox like those ones with the little old fashioned ones with the flap and stuff then you're not really gonna get your game anytime soon because someone's just gonna go peeping through your mail they're gonna steal that game and then you're gonna have to pay for it because if you keep a game for like five years game is gonna be on to you and you won't be able to run any more games from them and plus if your mail goes in the wrong box it, I mean you could live in Texas and your mail gets screwed up somehow to where that game goes all the way to some weird dude in Wisconsin So freaking. Ugh. And I think I explained this in the last rant. Okay. Let me run up. More things that I hate about video games. Um, they make you they're addictive. They're fun. But now and when I say you try to go exercise. Um, first of all, I'll go exercise when I want, because I'm not a ticking time monster where if I eat a french fry, I'll explode. So, thank you very much for the concern, but, uh, no. No, I'm not going to go exercise. And then, like, some people who play so many video games, their social life is diminished. That would be if they had one, though. So, what they go and do, they go, hey, dude, I just got extra XP. Oh, no way, did you get the bonus map pack? Totally, man. The mod was like, OMG, LOL. Dude, I gotta go. And they're on Xbox Live, they're chatting. They're all, hey, dude, I gotta go, IRL. IRL means in real life. I, f I figured that out. I piece it together. No, I'm a gamer. I play video games, a few online ones. Mostly I play games on my computer. But I don't get talking about it every single day. Saying, hey, dude, let's play some Minecraft so I can level up. There's a portal gun mod. And guess what? If you level up, you get a diamond sword and XP and gold and so many other stuff. First of all, Minecraft is an 8-bit game where you build up blocks of stuff to build things. That's pretty much just Skyrim, except, like, Super Mario. Second, if you're going to be playing that and your social life does not exist, have a special day. Your day must be real, real special. Alright, cutscene. Hide <sighs> with your darkness, redness, whiteness. <laughs>
Okay, that's just where this look is. Alright, I'm off the break. We're back. Next topic of today, rap music. Now, I like rap, personally. I can rap too. I like it. I make my own raps and stuff. But, it's gotten to the point where people aren't really even saying real words anymore. They're just going, bang, bang, bing, boom, pop, I got money. I gotta get up on that paper. Uh, first of all, um, if you're gonna get up on paper, um, first of all, Get a girl, man. If you're gonna be all about paper, no one wants to see that or know of it. It's just freaking nasty. Ugh. It's nasty. Oh. Another thing I hate about rap music. Now, every rapper at some point goes to jail. At least, at least once or twice. And they start telling you all about the hardships they've had and stuff just to make a good song now apparently but now it's, it's gotten to where all people just go, do is go bang boom boom pop up be all up in that money long money go lock it pop it lock it no cup in your face what is a cap first of all I, all right who invented bust a cap up in your beep? um who invented that phrase i'm sorry but um Last time I checked, you do not wear bullets in your head, on your head, or so on. And second, um, ASS means donkey, the word ass means donkey, so basically you're just gonna say, you're gonna bust a cap on a donkey. So, unless donkeys like headwear, okay, that's good with them, but, uh, whatever kind of problems you have putting headwear on farm animals, uh... Well, good luck with that to you. Ugh. Oh my. And like, whenever a rapper goes to jail, they, they get this little teardrop tattoo, like this. Now, whatever kind of gangsta tattoo that's supposed to mean, okay, yeah, you went to prison. It's not really a good thing, because if the whole rap career fails, then you're gonna go to your next job with grills in your mouth, your hat slept sideways, wearing a suit and a prison tattoo, like a teardrop on your eye. And then they're gonna see that, and you're gonna end up some little dirty hobo living in a box under a bridge with a dog named Skip. So, ha, huh, good luck to you. Ugh. Oh man, this is actually pretty fun. I'm starting to wonder why y'all are still watching this, but go ahead. Now, another thing, um, some rappers just look tough and gangsta. They'll get jewelry in their mouth, pierce their lips, earrings. Now, I got a little riddle for you guys. What look, what looks Jamaican and possibly belongs on Treasure Island? The answer? Lil Wayne! Okay, first of all, he has tattoos. Everywhere, and I'm hoping that literally does not mean everywhere, and just on. I'm hoping that just means on visible parts like his arms, his legs, his neck, and parts of his face. I'm hoping that's not literally everywhere, because if he's got something down there and below the apparatus, no one wants to know that. And first of all, what kind of sick person tattoos down there? Hey, dude, look what I can make my do. Uh, 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 it talks. There's a smiley face on it. Ugh. Okay, um, if you're gonna, first of all, I don't really like him that much, because he sounds like Alvin the Chipmunks with a head cold combined with Fred, which is real irritating. Ugh, and his arms, with all those tattoos, it looks like he's got the Da Vinci Code written on his body. Because, uh, hey, guess what? Can you help me solve the mystical puzzle to find the palm of the rings? Oh, sure, just look at my arm. So, up, up, up. And some of them will wear more messed up outfits, like, uh, not really rappers necessarily, like, they'll just wear stupid stuff, like, um, uh, Kate, like, Lady Gaga, she wore a dress made of meat. First of all, if you're gonna be conforming on some freaking dog show, uh, you're screwed, lady. I don't really care what happens to you at that point. You're the one wearing the meat dress. 
Now, if me, if that was cooked meat, it wasn't even raw cooked meat. Actually, it was just raw meat, just stanking up the place. And she's performing. I'm wearing bratwurst around my neck. I got a steak on my head, it's a quarter ounce, and I got barbecue sauce on my purse. She literally had a barbecue purse. A barbecue sauce purse. Uh, she says she doesn't like sticking out very much. Lady, you're dressed as a giant pile of meat. You're pretty much gonna stick out. I mean, really. Um, that's not... That's like, where's Waldo? Where's Waldo? You can't find him, but... And, now, if there was a Where's Lady Gaga, she'd actually be a pretty good disguise because you just got you disguise yourself as them, as her, uh, in a crowd. You can dress up as anything. You just was a porta potty, a person, your mom. It's that's it. On um, this rule, this has been a puff log rant. Remember, I hate stuff. Later.